Hey guys, Miata Man here. Today we've got a 1994 Mazda Miata and it's got an intermittent problem where it won't start. You turn the key and absolutely nothing happens. And uh, this one's received a new ignition switch already. Uh, the starter's working just fine, uh, but when you turn the key, nothing happens every now and then. So what I've diagnosed it to is the clutch switch, which is this, uh, this part here that I'm showing you. And the part number on that is an FB01-66-4D, D zero. That's a genuine Mazda part and that's what it looks like. So if you suspect you have a clutch uh, switch problem, what you can do, or if you want to just not buy a new part and eliminate the clutch switch altogether, take a piece of wire and put a couple of spade connectors on it and make yourself one of these. That's, that's how big it is. It's in my hand to show the scale. And you can bypass the clutch switch altogether by doing this. So um, I'll show you where the clutch switch plugs in. I've already installed the new one. I'll see if I can show it to you for location. It is right in the center of the frame there. It's that white box. I'll uh, see if I can get the light on it for you. There it is. And when you push the clutch in, it pushes that nose in right there. So that's where it is. This one had one nut holding it on. There was uh, two posts, but only one nut. There we go. And it's a 10 millimeter nut. So we've got the new one installed already. And uh, yours may have two nuts on it. I looked at a 90, a uh, parts car that I've got here and it had both nuts on. I think they'd started only doing one uh, just to make the job easier if you had to ever replace it. So um, now the connector for that is right here. Okay, so if we follow that wire, that wire goes all the way to the clutch switch there in the background, that white thing. So now, where does this plug in? Well, let me show you. I'll uh, see if I can zoom you out here a bit. But here it's hard working under the dash and showing you guys this stuff at the same time, but we can do it. Um, it's hard to get the light where we want it to. So. Okay. Come on. So, okay. Sorry guys, this is not an easy job to do at any time. It's even tougher to film it, so. No, that's not it, is it? Or is it? Yeah, no, that's it. So, this guy here. So that is the, the connector where the clutch switch plugs into, okay? There you go, there's the both of them. So that'll be self-explanatory when you trace the wiring from your existing clutch switch. It will plug in here. And there are two connectors in there. And what you need to do if you wanna bypass it or, or even just to diagnose if the clutch switch is your problem, you take your jumper that you've made out of the piece of wire with, yeah, I'll show it to you again here. So the piece of wire with two spade connectors on it and you insert that into that clip there. There's, like I say, there's two connectors that correspond. If you plug this into it, it will jumper it and eliminate the need for the clutch switch. Now the clutch switch is there so that if you start the car and it's in gear, the clutch is in and the car won't lurch forward. Uh, if you have it bypassed, uh, you could start the car and it'd be in gear and it would just jump. So that's why they started putting these in. Lots of people, however, have decided that they don't want that in. Uh, it's just, you know, cheaper, of course, if you have to replace a clutch switch. It's also a lot easier to insert the jumper as well. So two different ways to do it. Um, install the brand new one, which we've done here. Uh, for diagnosing purposes, uh, put a jumper into the plug and see if it solves the problem. And if you just want to leave it in there and not have your clutch switch involved in starting the car anymore, then that's something you can do too. So there you go, guys. I hope that shed some light on the clutch switch, uh, the clutch switch bypass 
and diagnostics and um, be very careful when you undo the clutch switch if you are removing it not to drop uh, the little 10 mil bolt or the little metal sleeve that goes behind it uh, i'm going to show you one more time if i can get you in there there we go so right there in the middle of the frame you can see there's a little metal barrel that goes in between the plastic of the clutch switch and the bracket that it attaches to and then there's a little 10 mil nut with some yellow paint on it so just be very careful not to drop those because if you do they're probably going to go right behind this plastic kick panel and you'll probably never see either one of them ever again so there you go guys that's clutch switch clutch switch bypass and the part number one more time for your pleasure right there and that can be attained at any mazda parts dealership and uh, they can get one to you usually in a couple of days and yeah i like oem parts for this kind of thing it's the only way to fly okay guys thanks please subscribe to the channel hit the like button and let me know if you have any questions